Hi there again. <laughs> we will learn some of the encyclopedia with you, human body encyclopedia for everybody who want to learn more knowledges and more like a human being and maybe you want to be fluent English learner. Yes, and happy bus. Thanks so much for commenting every video with uh, this uh, this rubric, this uh, this head. How to say it? One moment. Need to translate it to uh, rubrica. It will be rubrica. Heading. Heading. Every heading you you are uh, commenting. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And let's learn hormones. Hormones, heart and blood. How it looks like. It's anatomy inside of us. A hormone is a chemical that changes the way part of your body works. Even tiny amounts of hormones are powerful. Some work slowly over years, but others have instant effects. The pea-sized pituit gland how to say it correct let's google it will be pituitary gland pituitary gland pituitary gland is just under your brain main gland hormones are made in parts of the body called glands the most important is the pituitary pituitary gland in your brain its hormones controls many its gar harmonies uh, controls many of the other glands growth hormone every day your pituitary gland release about eight microscopic doses of growth hormone mostly when you're asleep this hormone makes your bones and muscles grow the amount of growth hormone you make in one year is less than this tiny pinch of sugar the amount of growth hormone you make in one year. Oh, less than tiny pinch of sugar. Oh, interesting fact. Less than this spoon. This pinch of sugar. Okay. Growing up, tod toddlers and teenagers. Who is toddlers? Toddlers is many like a young person, like youth. Toddlers. Toddlers. Yes, is person who are started uh, walking. And teenagers have very high levels of growth hormone, which is why they grow so quickly. Adults also make growth hormone, but the level falls with age. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So a funny person with funny faces. Baby faces. What carries hormone around the body? Carries hormones around the body? Blood, maybe? One moment. Into the blood. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Jesus. So funny picture. Control chemicals. Oh, chemicals. Hello, Lucy. Harmonies are important. They control many body processes. Oestrogen. Oestrogen is the female sex hormone. It turns little girls into adult women. Oestrogen. How to say it correct is will be... Oest Oestrogen. 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 Testosterone is the male sex hormone. It turns little boys into adult men. Testosterone. Testosterone. Okay. Melatonin helps control the daily cycle of sleeping and waking. Glucagon. Glucagon. Or how to correct to say it? Glucagon. Glucagon. Raises the level of sugar in your blood, giving your, you energy. Parathyroid hormone. Tells your bones to release calcium into the blood. The fright hormone. The hormone adrenaline... Adrenal how to say adre adrenaline adrenaline maybe adrenaline yeah adrenaline makes you feel scared of excited it works in an instant preparing your whole body for sudden action in case you need to escape from danger adrenaline makes your heart and lungs work harder your heart starts to pound and your ga you gasp as your lungs take in extra air your brain becomes alert so, so you can think quick think quickly. Your brain becomes alert so we can think quickly. It uh, it will be when we have uh, harmon or the uh, adrenaline or what? Adrenaline makes your heart and lungs work harder. Your heart starts to pound and uh, you gasp as your lungs take in extra air. Ah, extra air it uh, will help your body to more to be more like a <laughs> funny person. Glands above your kidneys release adrenaline. 
become an expert on growing up pages 102 103 on sleep pages 108 109 your hair stand stand on end making your skin tingle 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 is like a timber tingle tingle wow a slight picking or stingy sensation okay adrenaline travels to your arms and legs and prepares the muscles for action. Sugar control. The hormone insulin helps control the level of sugar in your blood. Some people don't make enough insulin and have to check their blood sugar level regularly. They have a disease called diabe diabetes. Di diabetes. 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 People with uh, diabetes breaks uh, their skin to get a drop of blood so they can check uh, how much sugar it contains. Oh, Jesus. Not, uh, not really comfortable. Airbags. We have to breathe. We have to breathe all the time in order to supply your, our bodies with oxygen and to get rid of a carbon dioxide. We use our lungs to do this. Prepare the air. Before the air reaches your lungs, it travels through your mouth and nose and then goes down your windpipe. It gets warm and damp on its journey. You breathe in through your nose or mouth. The air travels down your windpipe. Windpipe is our, like, a throat or what is? Windpipe. Windpipe. The air travels down your windpipe. Windpipe. The flap shuts when you eat. Eat uh, food can go down your windpipe. These flap shuts. Ah, okay. Each lung is a spongy maze of tunnels. Each lung is a spongy maze of tunnels. Tunnels is. Uh, what is. Is. Uh, okay. Tunnels, tunnels inside the di the di the diaphragm is like a trampo trampoline trampoline. Okay, before the t t when you breathe in, your lungs stretch out and take in lots of air. Oh Jesus, she's so funny. And when she did some of the exhale, she looks like a she jpeg. Uh, or something with uh, unquality because she <laughs> don't have air Jesus Christ in uh, and out your ribs and diaphragm help you to breathe your lungs fill with air when you raise your rib cage then empty out when you lower it a muscle called the diaphragm helps you to do this when you breathe out on out your lungs squash down forcing all the air out okay it will be our diaphra diaphragm works like a she goes when you breathe in okay and after breathe in our diaphragm goes uh, goes down should goes down yes and after that uh, after breathe in it will go up okay how many breaths do you la do you take in a day i think that uh, more than uh, how much? Maybe five thousand? Am I about thirty-two thousand? Oh Jesus! A helping hand. Some newborn babies have trouble breathing. They are put into an, a closed cradle called an incubator. Extra oxygen is pumped into the incubator for them. The view from your bottom of your windpipe. Wow, windpipe. Air from your mouth and nose enters your windpipe, which goes down your throat into your chest. Then it splits into two passages, one for each lung. Curiosity quiz. Take a look through these images related to breathing. You should be able to find them all in the next few pages. First is maybe our oxygen in the wood in water. Next is our oxygen with balance. Uh, next is something like... Uh, I don't know, it's a greeny, uh, greeny cabbage or something like this. And this is like a, from movie, movie, scary movie. The alveoli are surrounded, alveoli, what? Alveoli are surrounded by tiny blood cap capillaries to take the oxygen around the body. C alveoli, alveoli, something, I know this word. 
alveoli. The alveoli are surrounded by tiny blood capillaries to take the oxygen capillaries. around the body. Air sex. Air sacs. Air sacs. I don't know how to pronounce it correct. Uh, air. Air sacs. Sacs. Your lungs are full of tunnels and the in tiny air sacs called alveoli. Here, oxygen from the air passes into your blood. Your blood carries oxygen around every part of your body. Lungs and breathing. Air and oxygen. The air you breathe contains a life-giving gas called oxygen. Oxygen helps your cells get their energy from food. They would die within minutes in your stopped breathing. Really? Oh, Jesus. They would die within minutes if you stop breathing. Really? It it means that if I will not breathe, our our things like this will stop, will stop grow and will die? Really? You normally take about 20 breaths per minute more if you are exercising. 20 breaths per minute. Okay, it's like... A Yes, uh, during the day, trees take in carbon dioxide from the air. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not good thing. Carbon dioxide from the air and give out oxygen. Oxygen from trees. Trees helps to clean the air by filtering out, out pollution. They also make oxygen, which they release through the, their leaves. Carbon dioxide. Ox we have uh, oxygen. It will be uh, inside of our our body and uh, go out our carbon dioxide become an expert on cells the body building blocks page 8 9 we did we are experts of it what is what is in air air is all around you but you can't see smell or taste it you can feel it when the wind blows puffed out Breathing heavily gives your body extra oxygen so it can work harder. You feel puffed out and pant when your lungs can't supply your body with oxygen quickly enough. Puffed out is when you... Uh, 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 what is... Puffed out. Swollen. Puffed out. I don't know what is. Puffed out is... Uh, breathing heavily gives your body extra oxygen so it can work harder. Okay, airless places, air and oxygen. <laughs> oh, Jesus, funny. Yeah, do this, my dear, my dear person. Not every place has air to breathe, so sometimes people carry their own. Fires burn up oxygen and produce thick, positionless smoke. Is fires. Also, we have mountain tops, have a thin air with a little oxygen. Is mountain tops when we will go to the when we want to climb uh, to climb our mountains we have tops and uh, in uh, upper above it we have uh, not good air like uh, with a little little amount of oxygen space and planets near earth have no air to breathe not good <laughs> water contains oxygen but humans cannot breathe it need to learn it hold that breath People can spend a few moments underwater without breathing. Most people can manage about a minute, but the world tracker is around 6 minutes. I know one person who did uh, more than more than 12 minutes. I know it. On a cold day, you can see the water in your breath turn to steam, as it means the air turn to steam. Steam is like a, when we use our, our breathing support and steam. Steam. Steam, yes. You need to be able to control your breathing to blow up a balloon. How much puffs have you... Have you got? I don't know. Puffs... Puff, what is... Puff. Puff is like a... When we do... How much have you... Have you got? Wet air. Have you noticed that when you breathe out a window or a mirror it becomes wet? That's because the air you breathe out is slightly damp. How much air? You take in about half a liter 0.8 pints of air which, with each breath. If you breathe in deeply you can take in about 3 liter, liters uh, 5 pints in our one gulp. gulp. A way of uh, high... What is high? Highness the one who 
has stopped breathing by blowing into their mouth. Okay, making sounds. You can speak, whisper, hum and shut. Okay, making sounds. Humans can make more sounds than other creatures because the shape of your face affects your voice. Your voice is unique. Voice box. Your voice box has two jobs. Has two jobs. You used it to make sounds and to seal off your windpipe when you eat so you don't choke. Don't choke. So, so you don't choke. Don't choke. So you don't choke. What is, is when we will... Ah, and you will not, uh, you will not die maybe after if, uh, don't choke, choke is uh, when you can't, can't uh, maybe breathe. Closed vocal cords, uh, okay, vocal cords, inside your voice box are two flaps called vocal cords. You make sounds by pushing air between them, causing them to vibrate, uh, fast vibration produce high sounds, slower ones, low sounds. It will fast vibration produce high sounds, slower ones, low sounds. Adam's apple. During puberty, a boy's voice grows bigger, giving him a deeper voice. You can sometimes see it building at uh, the front of the throat. It is known as the Adam's apple. Adam's apple. Okay, it's our in the region. I don't know. I, I know what is. During puberty. A boy's voice box grows bigger, giving him a deeper voice. Air supply. Air supply. You use the air coming out of your lungs to produce sounds, so it's difficult to speak when you're breathless. Okay, I understand it. Loud sounds. The harder air is forced out of the lungs, the louder the sound. So when a baby takes a big gulp of air, you can expect a really big cry. Oh, because... Uh, they uh, they will have many many of the uh, big gulp like a, <sighs> a big gulp of air you can ex expect a really big cry do you know a snorer snorer i know <laughs> my roommate did it snoring sometimes when people sleep uh, the flesh apart at the back of the nose and throat vibrate as they breathe this rating is called snoring it else it can also happen when you have a cold snapping words. The air coming from the lungs is shaped by the tongue, cheeks and lips to form specific sound. Oh, ooh. Ooh is made by pursing your lips and pushing them out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, ah. Ah are made with a low tongue and a wide open mouth. Ah, ah, okay. E is made by stretching your lips and keeping your up high. E, e. Yeah, like this. Digerido. Digerido. What is? Is uh, an Australian wind, wind instrument. D D Digerido. Okay, making music. You control your breath when you speak, but you need really excellent breath control to sing or play a a wind instrument. On puberty pages on body language. Oh, wow. Ah, true. Ouch. You need to keep your airways clear to breathe at all times. If something gets into our airways, you have to get it pretty quickly. A sneeze can travel as fast as a car. Wow. It's allergy. Yes, it's allergy picture was. Sneezing. Sneezing. Sneezes are a quick way to get rid of unwanted particulars. Sneezing. Sneezing. What is... Ah, sneezing. Yes, yeah, sneezes are a quick way to get rid of unwanted particle particles that you have accidentally breathed into your nose. Okay, gulp. The sticky mucus shot in your nose and airways traps dust and dirt in the air that you breathe. Every day you swallow about a glass of this stuff. Usually the flap is up holding your windpipe open. Safety catch. Unlike other animals, human beings are use the throat both for eating and breathing. The epiglottis is a small flap of cartilage that shuts off your wine pipe when you swallow so food can't accidentally go down it and choke you. The flap closes when you swallow. Swallow, swallow is uh, ah when you use like a go down our swallow 
Yes, I understand it. Nose hairs. The tiny hairs in your nose work like a brooms to sweep out any particles that you have breathed in. They get trapped in mucus, mucus, mucus what is, and are swept, mucus, ah, okay, mucus and are swept along to be swallowed down your throat. Yawning is catching. Is there anyone nearby? Give a yawn and see if you can start a yawning epidemic. Why? Okay, couching. Irritating particles that have inter entered your throat are... Oh jeez, I want to yell. Like that. Thrown out when you cough. Uh, coughing uses your vocal cords, which is why a noise comes out with the cough. Like, uh, yes. Hiccups. Sometimes your diaphragm suddenly tightens, causing air to rush into your lungs. This makes your vocal cords snape closed with a hic hiccups seem to happen for no reason. Hiccups is like a hic Yeah, absolutely right. Yawning. Nobody knows why we yawn. Hiccups. We do know one effect of yawning. More oxygen in the lungs. It seems we yawn to perk ourselves up when we're feeling tired of or bored. And here to stop your eyeballs shouting out of your face with the force, the sneeze. It was... Why do you close your eyes when you sneeze? It was to stop your eyeballs... Uh, shutting out of your face with the force of the sneeze. Ah, you can <laughs> do this. Like, oh, geez, it will go away. Okay. We did learn some of the... Oh, how's dust? Dust is mostly made dead skin. Dust... Mm. Wow. It's so small, people. And we did. We learned today. We learned... Uh, more about sneezes, sneezes about more uh, our uh, hiccups, also about uh, our airing, how do we, how do we, how do we breathe, also how do we do our, our yawning, couching, also about uh, making music, snapping words, else uh, air, car, car, Dioxy, Dioxy.